Hello everybody, welcome to lecture 19 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. The topics to be covered here, employee communications and monitoring. Learning about job applicants. Employers can get more information about the applicants on the web and social networks. It's extremely difficult to remove all negative informations and photos applicants or some of their friends released to cyberspace. Risks and rules for work and personal communication. Monitoring employees is always happened by employers, especially in some kind of works. In the past, it was a little bit hard, but now it can be constant, more detailed, and unseen by workers. Moreover, employers try to monitor employees to make sure that they do not use the work's resources, such as laptops, emails, PCs, or other devices, for personal use. This is to avoid the risk that could occur by using these resources for personal use. About half of the major companies in the US monitor the emails and voicemails of their employees. So this is not unusual, this is usual thing in the workplace. Some employer monitor their employees during the work time to see what they are doing. Here is a concern. Is non-work web use at work a serious problem for employers or is it a modern equivalent of reading newspapers, listening to radio or making a quick personal call uh, at one's desk. One large US company found that on the typical day employees viewed 50,000 YouTube videos and listened to 4,000 hours of music. These activities caused a significant slowdown of the company's internet service. Another a voice concern is that employees are not working the hours they are paid to work. Some psychologists argue that allowing some personal online activity improves employee moral and efficiency. Here is a question. Why employers monitor their employee? What is the purpose of that? Actually there are many reasons for that. The first reason that could be is measuring the productivity and detecting behaviors that uh, threatens the employers in some way. Another reason is the concerning over security. Uh, the security threats like viruses, malicious software could affect the employer system. Another reason concerning about bad activities by employees. Now, the question here is the process of monitoring the employees by the employer legal or not. The Electronic Communications Privacy Act prohibits interception of email and reading stored email without a court order, but makes an exception for business systems. Courts put heavy weight on the fact that computers, mails, and phone systems are owned by the employer who provides them business purposes. Actually, there are some issues regarding the monitoring 
uh, low for employer system but in general a clear policy can reduce disputes and abuses by either employees or employers personal social media can affect the employee situation in his work for example a school district fired a teacher because of a photo of her drinking in a bar also another school district declined to rehire a teacher who communicated with students on social networks and uh, included some bad pictures in his uh, profile a restaurant fired a server for complaining on a social network about inconsiderate low tipping customer the server had included the name of the restaurant and so on now think about these questions is it reasonable for employers to fire employees for content of their blogs tweets or posts on social networks are there good reasons for employers to be concerned about what their employees post in such places the monitoring extend to cover the monitoring of physical places electronic identification badges that serve as door keys this is to provide increased security and to allow monitoring of employee movement another way of uh, monitoring employees uh, by using GPS GPS tracks an employees location for example uh, this can be used in some hospital to track nurse or doctors locations for emergency purposes also shows where they are at lunch or break time or when they use the bathroom employees often complain of loss of privacy and I think this is right now discuss this question how much privacy is reasonable for an employee to expect in the workplace under what circumstances is it appropriate for an employer to read an employee's email this is the end of the lecture see you in the next lecture and goodbye